Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm working on week 41 in Marguerite Miller's Collage Weekly Planner. And after I do this collage, I'll show you the collages that I did since we were last together. So in this one, the prompts are glass. And this is what I found, but I didn't start with that. I started something in triangular shape. Something found in the desert, I thought pyramid. So I was looking for an Egyptian pyramid, but I found this Mayan pyramid, and I really like that. So I got the Mayan pyramid for something triangular in shape. Something found in the desert. I have this prickly pear cactus. Library ephemera such as a lending card, catalog card, or checkout receipt. I have this catalog card. I have several catalog cards here. And I think I'm going to use this one. I ripped it up. It's in Dutch. It's from the Netherlands. The book is from the Netherlands. And then typewriter text. I have these papers that my mother typed when she was in her first year of college and taking domestic arts course. This is actually a letter that she wrote um, to her fiancé, who later became her husband and my father, and it's about recipe for cooking a husband, and it's kind of funny. It's about, about how some husbands are constantly in hot water. Some wives freeze their husbands with carelessness and indifference. So she just wrote this uh, cute little thing that has to do um, along the theme of cooking and how she um, intends to be a good and loving wife to him. I thought that was really cute, but I'm not going to um, use this, so I made a copy of it. And then I started tearing out pieces of it. So this is my typewriter text. I don't know which I'll use yet. And then um, I needed something for this pyramid, so I found this lady. And I thought she would be nice on the pyramid. And then after that, I found the glass. And I thought that went with the lady. And then I found this for a background. And this was in the large uh, National Parks book that I uh, purchased at the thrift store. Now, the pyramid and the lady I got out of Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens. And this is a great book. There's so many ideas in here. So, now I need to put it all together. I need to decide how to frame. See, I made this template. It's just out of uh, light cardstock. Or I think it might be 28 pound copy paper. And I just made this uh, template so I can see where I want to go with this. And I really like um, the pinks and the blues in this, and it really helps for this perfume bottle to stand out against the blue. So I could do something like this, show the waterfall. Put her on here. I haven't finished cutting her out yet. And this, I was thinking, could go down here somewhere. And so, my card could maybe go under here. Let's start cutting and gluing. I'm 
going to finish cutting out this lady and the flowers. closer. So we will put this Tower of Perfume Lighthouse of Scent. We have our pyramid. And we have our lady sitting on top of the pyramid. Her hand has to be on the pyramid. I really like magazine pictures but sometimes they're hard to work with. They're very slippery and they don't take the glue all that well. I love this bottle. That's beautiful. A beautiful bottle. Now I'm thinking of this like this. I'm not sure why my camera stopped just as I was gluing the lady. It, it didn't um, tell me the battery was low or anything. The battery is good. Not sure about that stuff. So while I was waiting for those to download to check to see if it actually stopped or not, I was reconsidering my words. So it's kind of hard to make something logical by ripping up another text. A little spice is very good. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to check the edges to see that they're secure. Now I want to do some outlining. I don't think I want to do it in black. I think I'll start with the uh, library index card and do that one in brown. See how I like it. This Stabilo pencil 
writes well on magazine pages although it tends to beat up when you add the water to it. So then I use the water brush and I'm dragging the water over the torn edge of the paper so that the stabilo will soak into it. translated the title of this uh, Dutch book and it's it's about the history of the Guild of St. Luke. When I outline an item and then uh, dissolve the stabilo with the water brush, what I'm trying to do is to cover any of the white edges of the cut papers. And they just blend in to the background a little bit better that way. I think my collage is finished. So glass is the perfume bottle. Something triangular in shape is the Mayan pyramid. Something found in the desert is the prickly pear cactus. Library ephemera such as the lending card, catalog card, or checkout receipt. I have a catalog card from the Netherlands. Uh, typewriter text. I have a photocopy of something my mother wrote to my father when they were engaged. And the bonus line paper, I didn't use that. So when I did pencil around the lady's figure, I did a very I had a very sharp pencil and did a very thin line and then just sort of pushed the color into the paper edges so that she blends in better and then I put some extra down here for shadowing and I thought it was really interesting how her scarf just happens to fit the shape of this pyramid. I noticed that when I first cut her out 
of the book. I thought, I think she's going to fit on top of that pyramid really nicely. Now I'll show you the ones that I did since we were last together. This is the last one we did um, together. The last one I did a video of, and that was week 37. So then the next one was 38, something you look through. Well, I found this doorway in this old stone wall that looked through um, onto the ocean in this um, spit of land coming out here. Uh, this is in Scotland. A fabric scrap, but that was kind of hard to think of something that wouldn't be too bulky and that was um, fine enough for this. So I put um, this bit of netting from my grandma's lace box on as like a shawl for this lady. A postage stamp. I have here a British postage stamp. Something drawn or written in pencil. I wrote, no matter where you go, you will always be in my heart. A-T-H. That's Anthony T. Hicks. A piece of jewelry. I have here this, um, it's actually a bracelet, but it represents a wedding band. And the bonus is a piece of lined paper or graft paper. So I put um, this on some graft paper. Over here I found this picture of this man who's walking away and another bracelet that looks like a wedding ring. And so they're separated or he's left her or something. There's some story there, but um, that's for the viewer to make up that story. And that was week 38. Week 39, something rough, however you interpret that. That is this cowboy and his horse and this corrugated metal stall. Something that came in the mail. Here is a torn piece from a um, envelope. Something that's dark. Well, this whole image is dark. Money, play money, etc. Um, this is a digital from Marguerite Miller. It has all, she has digitals with all kinds of foreign monies on them, and I, I picked out this one and just put a portion of it. There was a man's head over here, I think, and I took that off. A chair. I did not use a chair, and the bonus is a paper clip, so I just Put the paper clip here like it's holding um, these items here. And this image of the cowboy is separate from the image of the horse. And both images were from an article in National Geographic where um, a photographer got an antique camera and he went out to Wyoming and he took pictures of uh, contemporary cowboys with this old camera. That was a really a good article, and as soon as I saw something rough, I thought about that article. There was another picture in there of an older cowboy who looked really rough, but he didn't quite fit, so I like this cowboy here. And that was week 39. Week 40 was fun. So a window or a door, so I have this, um, the background is an image of a room with a window. Something that represents time. The picture in the background outside the window is a separate photograph. A chewing gum or cough drop wrapper. So I have here some Beeman's gum and it's all torn up and it's and this big old fly is fighting this um, dinosaur for this gum. The, the dinosaur is trying to steal it and the fly is trying to keep it. A piece of clothing. I didn't use that block text. This tells about this little dinosaur. He's a small dinosaur. He was discovered in, where was it? I think it was Argentina or somewhere like that. And it's just a little clip about that. Cornatosaurus? Cornatosaurus or Cornatosaurus. And the bonus is a bugger insect, so that's the fly. So that was fun. I like doing strange, unexpected things like that. And then that takes us back to today. So I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, my interpretation. I enjoy looking up everybody else on YouTube and seeing what they're doing with the same prompts. Everybody does something completely different, of course. So thanks for watching, and have a great day collaging. Bye-bye!